Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I wanted to do an all signs reading and I'm going to be starting with the sign of Aries and basically just what you need to know. So let's go ahead and get started. Dear God, I ask that you give me the most clear and precise messages for the sign of Aries. What does the sign of Aries need to know at this time, please? Give me the most important messages for the sign of Aries. So you have the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. So in the past, there could have been a missed opportunity, a missed chance at uh, a relationship, okay? Or there could have been a missed opportunity when it comes to a job and you just put it where it resonates. But for some of you all, you could have been dealing with a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. And you have here in the present, you have these Six of Wands, okay? So things could be... You may have gone through a period maybe of like disappointment, but I feel like for you, things have kind of been looking up for you, which is a good thing. I see success. Okay. You could be experiencing success, could be experiencing public reward. And then you also have here the three of swords. Okay. Three of swords has to do with heartbreak. It has to do with grief. It has to do with suffering. So for some of you all, what it's looking like in the future is that there may be some type of heartbreak that you may experience, but you will recover quickly from this. You're going to get back into your Aries energy, okay? That Queen of Wands is there, okay? This is somebody that's stepping back into um, knowing who it is or knowing who they are, okay? Having courage, being determined, feeling passionate um, about life again or about dating again, yeah. You also have here the Hermit card in the reverse. Some of you all spent a lot of time in the house, OK, a lot of time in the house, maybe a lot of time um, away thinking about the past and just kind of doing some self-reflection. But with this hermit in the reverse is basically saying that you're coming out of this energy. You may have been feeling withdrawn, um, may have been feeling very lonely. But at the bottom of the deck here, you have the page of pentacles in the reverse. OK, somebody's needing to get out the house. And if this is not the case, it's not just about getting out of the house. It's about getting over this past situation, this past disappointment, because I feel like this is something that's keeping you stuck. Somebody is constantly living in the pain that they experience, either at the loss of a job or a loss of a person, a loss of some type of stability. And I want to go ahead and pull some more messages for you. Yeah. Spirit is telling you to be patient. I feel like some of you all are like at your wits end when it comes to patience. It's like, how much longer do I have to wait for my 10 of pentacles? How much longer do I have to wait for my 10 of cups? But spirit is saying that you will soar towards your destiny with greater clarity and strength. And this is why patience is important. Okay. You had to go through this unfortunate heartbreak in order for you to get to the other side. Okay. You could have had people judging you, whether this was at work or you had that, um, the person that you may have been dating, they may have been judging you or people around them could have been judging you. But this is going to bring you inner peace. This hermit mode that you're in, having to kind of pull away from certain people and situations was needed so that you can become stronger. Because again, you, you have to step into this energy, okay? That queen of wands energy. You may have got, you may have been experiencing like insecurity. You may have sometimes with this, with this queen of wands, when the queen of wands is in a reverse, it's sort of like, you don't want to, <clears throat> excuse me. You don't want to feel maybe jealousy or resentment towards other people, but it's again, like I said, a temporary thing. I also feel like some of you all are judging yourselves too harshly as well. So spirit is telling you to be kind to yourself. Some of you all are breaking away from codependency or some other type of addiction because you do have this devil card in the reverse, which has to do with releasing something, whether this is materialism, whether this is some type of pleasure or addiction or addiction to somebody else, but you're needing to end um, this and you will soon end this feeling. Some of you all, you could been dealing with the Capricorn. I did mention earlier that it could be an earth sign or some of you could have been dealing with the Virgo because we do have the devil card along with the hermit. So again, some of you all could have been dealing with an earth sign, but of course this is not for everyone. But remain patient. Things are going to turn around for you. So let me get your final fortune messages. 
What are the final messages for the sign of Aries? What are the final messages for the sign of Aries? You have society, nature, and wisdom. Yeah, there it is again. There is something you're going to learn from this situation that's going to help you moving forward. Your message here is to focus on the past is to lose the future. Heed advice from an older person, which will allow you to move on. Some of you all, you're, you could have a parent, could be a mother, could be a father, um, there could be an aunt, but I feel like there is somebody who whose advice you truly trust and respect. This person is going to give you a valuable lesson that is going to um, help you move forward from whatever it is that um, this loss that you've experienced. Some of you all could be going through a divorce or an ending of a long-term relationship. You also have here society. It says, say yes to all the wonderful invitations coming your way. Excellent networking opportunities and love interest for singles will be the result. You can't make this up. There's that six of wands. You're soon going to be coming into this energy, spending time with friends and loved ones. And you may even meet someone without, for those of y'all that are single, without even looking. Okay. And they say that's the best time. You meet someone when you're busy doing you. And then you have nature. It says interact with nature in the outdoors, around animals, farmlands, or by the ocean. This will be good for the soul and healing for you. So there you are, Aries. Hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Let's go ahead and get into the sign of Taurus. Hi, Taurus. Let's see what we have for you guys. Give me the most detailed and accurate messages, please, for the sign of Taurus and what they have to expect. Give me the most detailed and accurate messages for the sign of Taurus and what they can expect. All can expect some love, baby, and it's coming quick. Ooh, ooh, and it's coming quick. Okay. Oh, oh, and look at you, bottom of the deck, six of wands. Okay, we just had this card here with the sign of Aries. So, um, again, some of you all are definitely going to be experiencing some highs during this time, but this could be an indication that some of you all may end up meeting in Aries. Um, but we have here, I'm telling you, y'all going to meet somebody and fall in love. But those of you that are already in relationships, I see that love strengthening. And I also feel that some of you all are really poured into your own cup. So for those of you all that may have recently ended a relationship or a marriage or just basically choosing you, I feel with this Ace of Cups, I just keep getting the energy that somebody is like, I spent so much time putting my my energy into everybody else. Now it's time for me to focus on me. Good job, Taurus. Look at you. But this could also indicate, like I said, an overflow of love and expression. So there may be someone that you want to express love to and it's got you really excited. Or there could be somebody that could be feeling this way about you. I do feel like this may be a mutual thing. Okay. All right, but you also have here the five of wands. Some of you all, you may want to express love or someone may want to express this to you, but they may be fearful that there is competition. And <laughs> I just heard that some of you all are like, if there's competition, I'm ready for it, okay? Because I feel like for some of you all, you are in this energy now where you're ready to do you, okay? Knight of Swords is about taking action. So again, if this is not you reaching out towards someone, uh, could be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. There could be an Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, or somebody with these characteristics that may be coming towards you, okay? Whoever this person is, they could be a bit impulsive. So they may be coming in, rushing in kind of quickly with that Knight of Swords. But I like they're going to communicate but they may, I don't know, they may be holding back right now. They may be a little scared of, of how this, if, if, whether or not this is going to work out, but I definitely see this as being a positive. Okay. So let me go ahead and get some more messages for you guys. Give me some more messages for the sign of Taurus. Give me some more messages, please, for the sign of Taurus. Somebody definitely wants to communicate. And it could be somebody that's very attracted to you with these wands here. There is... <laughs> 
<laughs> Somebody wants to get their hands on you. This is so funny. Okay, let's see. <laughs> oh, Taurus. Some of you all, listen, like I mentioned before, some of you all, this could be strengthening of a relationship that you're currently in, okay? But for some of you all, there could be a commitment coming towards you all. Somebody may get a ring put on it during the holiday season, okay? It says you are attracting emotional fulfillment and unconditional love. Now, if you've been seeing like 11, 11, 10, 10, 4, 4, like crazy, for some of you all, twin flames could be coming together. And let me tell you something. I picked up the six of wands and immediately I noticed underneath the six of wands is the king of wands in the reverse. Okay. King of wands in the reverse is a king. Okay. But this may have been a reckless king. Okay. Somebody that could be a bit reckless, a bit impulsive, a bit overbearing, but I feel like with this person here, they may have had a rough upbringing or it may have been some situation for some of you all. You could have dated someone. You may have ended it because they were reckless, but it seems like somebody's turning around and this is this person that's want to bring you this good news. So it looks like this person from your past for some of you all wants to now come in with a commitment and you have here luck is on your side. OK, so if I feel like for some of you all look at this, how you have the woman here in the front. And she has these wands in front of her. I feel like for some of you all in the past, I feel like this is more past energy for some of you all. The woman had her back turned. So some of you all may have had your back turned to someone and you set up clear boundaries, okay? And what you don't realize is that these clear boundaries that you set were something that actually drawn this person back to you or this person to you. Because when you set boundaries and you show that you are good with or without somebody, baby, that's self-love. That's self-love. It's like, I'm good, but I can be good without you too, okay? I'm not going to allow you to come in and give me half when I'm going to give you all of my cup. So either you're going to fill my cup to the same level that I filled the cup on your end, or I'm just going to take my cup and get my ass on, basically. And I feel like with you, Taurus, you started focusing on your goals, progressing in a positive ways, and... I feel like for you, life has been really good, okay? Pockets looking good, but at the end of the day, you know, everybody wants somebody to share this life, you know, with all of you all are not necessarily looking for marriage. Keep in mind, this is a general love reading, but definitely for a lot of you, I'm seeing here that by you focusing on you, loving you, taking care of yourself, putting you first, focusing on your goals, you have now drawn in, for some of you all, your better half, okay? So awesome for you. Let me give you some final fortune messages. Some final fortune messages, please, for the sign of Taurus. Final fortune messages for the sign of Taurus, please. Oh, I'm telling you signs and synchronicities. There's that signs right there. Some of you all have definitely been getting signs or some type of in intuition, maybe dreaming. And look at this. You cannot make this up. Signs and romance. Y'all got love coming. Okay. It says here, your future, po your future positive direction will reveal itself. Any doubts and confusions will soon disappear. You all manifested or you're about to manifest the life you've been wanting. It says romance. Love is set to sizzle. The chance for romance is high for those seeking a connection. And then you have here reinvent yourself. Oh, my God. When I tell you I love when spirit aligns these cards because this is literally everything we talked about. It says a transformation is taking place. Enjoy a new lease on life. You all let go of the wheel, allow for spirit to take over. And now you are about to get everything that you have put back out into this world. This is a really awesome one. Look, look, Taurus, this is going to be a really, really good future for you. For those of you all that resonate with this, this is completely awesome. So let's go ahead and get into the reading for the sign of cancer. Hi, Cancers. <laughs> this makes me think about a friend of mine who says, you don't do enough readings for the sign of cancer. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get more active on this channel, okay? Bear with me. So, let's see. Let me 
me some messages. Give me some future messages for the sign of Cancer, please, and what they can expect. Give me some future messages for the sign of Cancer and what they can expect. Bottom of the deck here, you have the Ten of Cups. I wasn't even going to look at the bottom of the deck. But um, for some of you all, you have here King of Pentacles in a reverse. You have the Will of Fortune. And then you also have the Eight of Swords. Okay? So some of you all may have been having a hard time getting somebody off your mind. I almost said Aries when I was um, mixing your cards. But as you can see here... We have the King of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords in the reverse, okay? For some of you all, it could be an Aries that you may have a hard time maybe moving away from, clearing your head, clearing your energy from. This could also be maybe like a father figure. Some of y'all, this could have been a husband, soon to be ex-husband or wife. But um, King of Pentacles in the reverse is somebody that can be very greedy. They could do things in, ex in excess. They could do be very overindulgent, okay? You may have been dealing with somebody that may have had an addiction. Uh, this could have been somebody that was like a narcissist, somebody very arrogant. And I feel like for you all, this person, maybe they played a lot of mind games with you. And now that you've become more self-aware, I feel like for some of you all, you release some negative person or situation from your past, okay? And because of this, luck is now on your side, all right? You have the wheel of fortune. Now, even though this was a situation that you didn't want to necessarily go through, it was fated to happen. You needed to learn something from this so that you can move on. For some of you all, you may have had a child with this person because we do have the Ten of Cups. But the Ten of Cups is not always about a family dynamic. This card is about inner happiness, okay? And I feel like for some of you all, you had to learn that love doesn't come from other people. This is something that has to come from the inside, which is why this 10 of cups is about inner happiness. I have to make myself happy. Therefore, I'll manifest what it is that I truly want and what it is that I truly deserve. Because I feel like for you, you may have been in a relationship, Cancers, where you can be very emotional, stereotypically, very caring, very giving. I feel like somebody was holding down a household or holding down a relationship or trying to maintain relationships, possibly with family or coworkers, and it just wasn't working. You were given, they weren't giving anything back. And I feel that um, it started to, at some point, start to weigh on you and you were starting to feel like, am I the, am I the blame? Am I the problem? I'm literally hearing a new song that Taylor Swift has right now. It's like where she's realizing I'm the problem. Hold on. I think I think I may have played some type of role in this. And I feel like the more that you looked at this situation from that standpoint, the more things in your life started to change. Okay. Yeah. There is the Hierophant card here. Tradition. It's all about legacy. It's all about society. But one of the things that stands out the most when it comes to the Hierophant card is that it's about guidance, okay? And I feel like you all have guided, have been guided away from a situation. I feel like you all have been protected um, from this person. It's sort of like, you know, don't go back. Don't go back to the same thing that hurt you because this person here has a way. For some of you all, this person that you're trying to avoid or you're trying to stay away from that you've learned lesson after lesson from is that this person is not going to change. They're stubborn. They're set in their ways. And it's sort of like take it or leave it. And I feel like for some of you all, you're in a position now where you're like, you know what? I'm going to take your advice. I'm going to leave it. So good for you. Let me go ahead and get some fortune messages. Yeah. For some of you all, you literally have moved. I don't know. I keep feeling like some of you all, you were dealing with a parent, uh, parental figure, but I feel like some of you all literally moved away from this person or you finally taken some time and taken a vacation and gotten away. But for others of you, this is like a, this is physical. Okay, you went through a physical transformation, spiritual transformation. Um, I feel like you all were dealing with people, maybe family members, friends, lover, whoever. They were very judgmental. They always had an opinion about what you chose to do with your life. And I also feel like for some of you all that's, that are like financially set, I feel like every time you spent your money and bought something that you enjoy, somebody always had an opinion about it. 
Dang, every time I see you, you going on a trip. That's a hater, okay? Don't we all wish we could do that? Every time I see you, you got a new outfit. Every time I see you, you got new shoes. What you doing, robbing a bank? No, I worked for it and therefore I get to show it off. I worked for it and therefore I get to take these trips. I get to be on these flights and go enjoy my life. How about you do the same instead of worrying about what I'm doing, hater? Okay, so I feel like for you, y'all, you're, you're just tired of being judged. I feel like there's somebody, every time they come home for the holidays, somebody got to mention how much weight they've gained, how much weight they've lost, okay? Are you still single? Are you still married? I just feel like there's a very judgmental person, and I feel like being sensitive as you are, Cancer, you were taking a lot of this in, but through this soul searching, I feel like this has or it will bring you inner peace, okay? Yes, healing. There's a healing that needs to take place. Some of you all, you may heal a relationship with an Aquarius because you do have the star card. Also, this is about faith. Going back to that Hierophant message earlier, it's about having faith. And it's about rebuilding. Some of y'all could be rebuilding relationships with people. Maybe you have, so some of you all that have children, maybe the relationship was strained because you passed on some of that generational curse into your child and it became you critiquing your child and are you having your parents or someone else critiquing your children. So it's like, no, I got to break this cycle because I don't want to pass this negative energy on. So good to you, Cancers, for pulling yourselves away and seeing what the problem is and fixing it. So I want to give you guys some final messages before I go on to the sign of Gemini. Give me some messages, please, for the sign of Cancer. To close off this reading, give me some messages for the sign of cancer. Ooh, <laughs> I feel like you all are focusing on the future. You have love coming. You cannot freaking make this up. When I tell you spirit been on point today, baby, look at this. Didn't we talk about jealousy? To, ooh, you cannot make this up. 22, 22 on the freaking clock. Don't allow those haters to make you feel bad about the things you've accomplished in your life, Cancer. You worked hard. You deserve it. Work hard. Play hard is what I'm hearing from um, Wiz Khalifa. Work hard. Play hard. It says, watch who you trust with your personal secrets and plans. Spend time outdoors with nature and reconnect and replenish. Spend time in nature. For some of you all, you may have been working so much you haven't taken a break, but now is the time to do so. Future, it says you may travel. <laughs> I can't make this up. You may travel or host an overseas traveler soon. Either way, a great social fun awaits you. All right. You also have romance. It says love is set to sizzle. Some of you all are going to meet this person while you're on vacation. Or when you return from vacation. But it says love is set to sizzle. The chance for romance is high for those seeking a connection. So that was a really good read for the sign of Aquarius. Now let's go ahead and clear this out and get ready for Gemini. Hi, Gemini. Welcome to your portion of the reading. Let's see what you guys can expect. All right, give me some future messages for the sign of Gemini, please. Future messages for the sign of Gemini. Future messages for the sign of Gemini, please. Bottom of the deck, you have these six of cups in the reverse, okay? So <clears throat> some of you all may be moving on from a situation. I do feel like for some of you all, this is more so about, less about moving on from somebody, but moving on from a, a situation that you kind of felt like you were stuck in. Some of you all could have been in a period of depression or just been in like a negative mindset and Especially as an air sign, you can't sit in this energy for too long because stereotypically air signs tend to overthink everything. So I feel like for you, what you're focused on right now, you're, you're planning something. The planning may make you a bit frustrated, but you're planning on doing something. You're planning on making a decision. Why do I keep feeling like somebody wants to leave something? You either want to leave like... 
somebody either want to leave a relationship or they want to leave where they're living. They're tired of living somewhere. They want to branch out. They want to do something new. Maybe you're in a small town. Money could be an issue as to why you haven't been able um, to make these moves. It's like whatever you're doing right now, this, uh, for some of y'all that could be dealing with depression right now, it's making it hard for you to stay motivated. It's making it hard for, I feel like it's making it hard for you to stay motivated. You don't know what your passion is. Like, I don't know what my passion is. I've kind of, I don't know what it is that I want to do with my life. But the good thing is, is that there, you're in a planning phase. Okay. So you're trying to figure out what it is that you want. All right. You also have here the nine of ones. One thing about you, even through all the stress, like you see this woman, she looks like she's trying to find something. And, but the thing is, she's not giving up. And that's what I love about the nine of wands. The nine of wands is very, uh, a very resilient energy. This is that fire energy. It's sort of like keep going despite um, what you don't see yet. Okay. It's like, keep working. As long as you put your grit in it, eventually you're going to get that job you're desiring, starting that business you're desiring. I feel like some of you all, you may be in a period where it's like, I started a business or I'm working at a job, but I'm not getting the pay yet. Or I may not feel like I'm getting the respect that I deserve yet. Or it feels like things are kind of slow right now. But I do feel like this is more so what you're kind of saying to yourself while you're just in this moment, as opposed to what is soon to come around you. Okay. Because like I said, with this six of cups energy, with the six of cups in the reverse, it's like moving forward, all right? So you're going to be moving forward despite what it is that may seem like it's going on right now. So I feel like you may be in a bit of an illusion. And let me go ahead and get you all some more messages. Give me some more messages for the sign of Gemini, please. What does the sign of Gemini need to know? Yes, you're literally... Don't give up. You're on the brink of success, okay? You have the birth card. Some of you all could be weighed down with the fact that you're trying to start something new or you've already started a job, but then you may have found out that you're pregnant or you could be dealing with children, just whatever the case may be. You're dealing with something right at the moment. You're trying to make something work, okay? But these little stumbling blocks are going to eventually... Um, subside because you do have a positive card here, which is the cracker card. It says positive energy surrounds you. Love, joy, and good fortune awaits. That's the thing. It's like when you're when you're in this energy of feeling down or feeling negative, it takes you away from truly seeing what's in front of you. It's important to remember that what you say to yourself will manifest. OK, so be careful of what you're saying to yourself when it feels like the chips are against you. That's when you're needing to be strong. That's when you're needing to fight. That's when you're needing to be resilient because you have new beginnings coming. And all it all it takes is understanding that success is on the other side. Some of you all, you've been wanting a key to your own place. Like, I need this key to my apartment. I need this key to my home. I just want to have a new job. I want a key to my new business. Be patient. Those times are coming. New beginnings, directions, and adventures await those that are ready to let go of the past. When we focus on the past too much, especially negative things, well, this happened in my last relationship. This happened at my last job. This happened the last time I tried to start a business. That negative energy is not going to do anything but roll over into what it is you're dealing with in the present. And you don't want to take that with you in your future. It's time to stop looking at the glass half full. Okay. So let me go ahead and get some final messages for the sign of Gemini. All right, give me some final messages for the sign of Gemini. You have communication, society, and sunshine. See, stop comparing. I feel like somebody is always comparing what they have to what other people have. Like this person, they already have this. They're already making this much money. That is their journey. Your journey is completely different. Eventually you may get to that or you may get to something completely different. But at the end of the day, and it that person, you don't know what hell that person may have had to go through. They could have been in the same sun and the reverse energy that you could be feeling. 
And only difference is they kept going despite what it looked like currently. And so somebody is needing that motivation. Somebody is needing to see that it's not always going to be like this. Eventually the sun is going to shine again. You have say yes to all the wonderful invitations coming your way. Excellent networking opportunities and new love interests for singles will be the result. Okay. For those looking for love, it's coming. For those looking for new opportunities in life, it's coming. You also have communication. A reunion could bring love or a rekindling of friendships. A lucky win seems likely. Now, I'm not telling you to put all your money in a machine, but <laughs> anytime that card comes out, the communication card, uh, it wouldn't hurt to put a 20 in a machine. This could be your lucky break. <laughs> but yes, yeah, say yes to the invitation. Sometimes when you're feeling kind of like down and people are coming around, they're calling, they're wanting to spend time with you. And it's like, nah, I'm, nah I don't want to do it. I don't want to come out. I don't want to do this. Sometimes just getting out that house will help. Okay. And you can, y'all, I literally am freaking out. Look at the card that came out and look at the first card that came out in your reading. You got sunshine. I'm telling you, whoever's in this depressive or negative state of mind, things are going to turn around. I promise you. Be patient, all right? It says the sun is shining on you. Career and business growth. Fabulous communication and relationships. Some of you all could be down because you're not communicating with somebody from your past or you want to be able to meet somebody new, but... Is here. You just have to keep going. Love it. Love it. So who, who do we have next? I don't know. It's Gemini Leos. It's time for the Leos. Hi, Leos. <laughs> As I'm mixing the cards, I just saw the King of Wands. Look at you all. Y'all love attention. <laughs> that King of Wands about to pop out the deck. All right, let's see. What do we have for the sign of Leos moving forward? Okay. What can the Leos expect? All right, what can the Leos expect? Give me some messages, please. Oh, oh, what's been going on, Leos? All right, you got that hangman there. All right, what's been going on? All right, so. With the hangman, I don't know. There's, uh, there may be something you have to release or there may be something that you have to sacrifice in order for you to fix a situation. Something may have fallen apart here, all right? And it, and I, ooh, somebody's going to have to put their pride to the side, okay? You may have to put your pride to the side, all right? And I don't feel like some of you all are willing to do that, okay? Because you got the ten of wands here with the ace of swords in the reverse. So something... Some, that, I feel like there was some shit that started, okay? Maybe you had a big blow up with somebody. Could be an air sign, could be a fellow fire sign because we do have ones in air. But something may have boiled over between you and somebody else and it was ugly, okay? But it could have all just been over some big confusion. It could have been where they were thinking one thing and you were thinking another and it turned, it was just a big misunderstanding. But the thing is, you'll never know if nobody ever opened up their mouth. And whoever you're dealing with, this could be the one that's stubborn as hell. I feel like some of you all could definitely be dealing with the, um, with the air sign. In particular, your opposite sign. I feel like some of you all are dealing with an Aquarius who refuses to talk, but they show watching you. Look at that. <laughs> whoever this person, doesn't even matter that sign. Look, Leo, whoever this person is, they act like they got some type of beef or they don't give a damn if you and you and them communicate anymore. Or they just going to sit there and they ain't going to do nothing. This same person talking all this crap, wish that you would reach out and say something to them. They do. Because honestly, subconsciously, they don't want to fight anymore. They don't want this conflict. They don't want this burden here. And I feel like you don't want this either. Because that five, that five of ones is fire. I feel like you don't want to fight either. Both of you all, I feel like the person you're dealing with could be fire dominant. Even if they're not a fire sign, they could have it like in their moon or their rising or their Venus. Um, you know, I feel like who, whoever this person is, you, I, I know you may not want to hear this, Leos, but you guys are going to have to be the bigger person. Because this person here, 
is not willing to do so. Look at that nine of swords. Look at that. Both of y'all still holding on. Look at that. Still holding on. <laughs> nine of swords with the four of pentacles. Still holding on to the situation. Still thinking about the situation like mad. But there needs to be some communication. I don't know. I don't know who hurt who. You know, this is this is your story. Take it how it resonates. But I feel like regardless of who, who this is, I do feel like um, if this is not you being the stubborn one and not wanting to settle this, this person may be the one to end up coming to you and saying, listen, after the, after the smoke clears, let's communicate with each other. Let's just talk this out because I don't want to keep hanging in suspension because if not, it's just going to turn into a missed opportunity. Nobody wins in the end if neither one of you are talking because you're still going to be thinking about it. I feel like you do the same thing, Leo. You're still watching this person. <laughs> that eyeball is so funny. Yep. Look, what did I tell you? Didn't I tell y'all some of y'all dealing with the star sign? You're dealing with an Aquarius. <laughs> some of y'all could be dealing with a, some of y'all could be dealing with a Capricorn. Um <laughs> Yeah, there could be some obsession here, like obsessively thinking about this person or thinking about what happened. Or you two could be toxic as hell. Oh, y'all dealing with a toxic ass person. They addictive, aren't they? You can't get enough of them and they can't get enough of you. <laughs> what did I say? You can't get enough of them and they can't get enough of you. I'm telling you, if this is not a fire sign, this is somebody that's fire and air dominant. And y'all are like all in water. But man, you sure miss them, don't you? Stop lying. <laughs> you miss them. Look at that. That's addictive. Oh, that's sex addictive, ain't it? Let me tell you, some of y'all, if you're dealing with a feminine energy, it's like water. <laughs> Flowing like water. Y'all addicted. You can't tell me with these cards here. All right. You're, now, I'm telling you, it's going to take, it's, I feel like it's going to take you, Leo, to heal this relationship. But once you do, I think that the two of you all can rebuild this and you can get back to that good sex that you miss. <laughs> oh, I'm picking with y'all today. But it says, look forward to an abundance of happiness, enthusiasm, and positivity. And that's the thing. It's like when you're with this person, as toxic as it may be, you know, because I'm not here to judge. This person just does something for you. Like you, you don't find this passion with other people. So why deny it? But spirit is telling you to avoid temptation and deceit. Okay. So let go of emotional upheaval and embrace the renewal of the present. So if you feel like you need to cut this person off because they're toxic, then do so. But if this is, I'm telling you, I feel like this may be twin flame energy. You're learning something from this person, Leo. You're learning some uncomfortable truths about yourself. You know what you're learning about yourself? You're too damn stubborn. And you try to take on everything by yourself instead of, allowing, um, instead of allowing other people to help you. You're so focused on being independent. I got this. I don't need nobody help. I'm fine. I don't need nobody. But judging from these cards, you need this person. And there's nothing wrong with that. Question is, are you going to stop being stubborn long enough to try to make this work? We shall see. All right. Let me get your final messages. Final messages, please, for the sign of Leo. Final messages, please, for the sign of Leo. This is like the perfect description for you guys. Twist and turns. It says carefully made plans could be thrown out the window as major changes and interruptions surround you. Make sure that you get lots of rest to cope with the upheaval. What did I tell you? That's chaos. Twist and turns. There's always something with this person. But you're being told that a sudden change of luck is likely and things are working in your favor. Excellent time for networking. 
That's that <laughs> Aquarius energy there, that star card. It says here, friendship. A friend needs your help, your kindness, and excellent counseling skills will put them back on track. See what I mean? Focusing less on, I feel like some of y'all may work a lot too. Focus less on work. And that could be somebody around you that needs you. It could be this person that you may perceive as toxic, but I feel like this person needs you or you need this person a lot more than you're willing to admit. And sometimes um, being a bigger person is just saying that I miss you and I'm sorry. And I, I don't know. I just feel like somebody needs that to hear that right now. If it's not you, then it's them. So I love it. Um, <laughs> I know some of y'all are probably mad, but hey, it is what it is. So let's keep it moving. And it's time for Virgos. Oh, I'm getting through this kind of quick. Let's see. We have Virgo through Pisces. All right, Virgos. Hi. Let's see what messages you all need to know at this time. Give me the most important messages for the sign of Virgo. Give me the most important messages and what the sign of Virgo need to know at this time, please. What burden are you all carrying? You all dealing with a Leo? <laughs> Did this Leo? Yep. Some of y'all dealing with a Leo. Look at that. Look at that strength card in the reverse. Some of you all could be dealing with someone where it feels like you're the one that's putting in all the work in the relationship. I'm tired of doing all the work, tired of taking care of the kids by myself. For those of you all that have children, I'm tired of you always slacking off at work and I always got to be the one that kind of fills in and does everything. The question is, is uh, Virgo, are you communicating this to a person? Because I feel like some of you all are not communicating this to the person that, um, that you're tired, that you're fed up, that you may not be happy. You may not have the courage to do this because this person could be a very dominating person. Some of you all, this could be a family member, could be a friend, could be a lover, could be a spouse. All right. And you do have the Ten of Pentacles here. OK, maybe someone that you you live with. All right. Also, with this Five of Pentacles in a reverse. Now, you're going to go through a recovery period. Things are going to start to turn around, but just make sure that you're not trying to gloss over some issues here because at some point, um, you two either were on the outs or relationship ended with somebody um, or you all could have had some issues when it came to money. But that Ten of Pentacles is a good sign that if you were on the outs or you had some issues with money in the past, it's damn sure turning around now. So for those of y'all dealing with money issues... Times are about to change. I'm telling you, ooh, you cannot make this up. Some of y'all could be dealing with a fire sign. could be an Aries. You might, you may have some jealousy around you. Maybe this person, some of y'all that are dating, they may have a karmic ex or someone from their past that hates on you or somebody may have, ooh, I feel like somebody's married with an overbearing mother-in-law. Y'all need to tell, somebody need to tell an overbearing mother-in-law or father-in-law, this may not resonate with everybody. Y'all need to tell them to mind your own goddamn business and don't worry about what's going on in my damn house. I'm just saying. <laughs> it may cause a little chaos. <laughs> but you can avoid future conflict by telling this person how you feel. Don't be holding back. Hell, they don't hold back when they talk to you, do they? <laughs> Somebody like, I'm so sick of your mama. I'm sick of your dad. I'm sick of you. I'm sick of my kids. I'm, period. Somebody need. <laughs> somebody need to sage. I feel like there's a Virgo that needs to sage, baby. They is under a lot of stress. Okay, because all the burden is on you. But at the end of the day, you got to take some responsibility for that because people will only do to you or they will only treat you the way that you allow them to treat you. Because if you don't create boundaries with people, they're going to always step over you. So now it's time for you to decide, do I continue to sit back and pretend like there's no issues and cower away from a situation? Or do I stand up and give people the middle finger? You ain't got to be violent, okay? But you do have to communicate in a way where people can understand, don't F with me, basically. All right. Straight to the point. All right. Give me some messages moving forward for the sign of Virgo. Give me some messages moving forward, please, for the sign of Virgo. Some of you all may have a boss that's constantly over your shoulders. Did you get that done? 
Did you get that done? Why you want to take off today? I can't let you take off right now. Y'all got to put it in. Somebody needs to put it in to something. Yeah. Somebody needs to put it into something. Also, for some of you all, you need to take care of your health. All right, because you do have the health card here. Take care of your health. Natural endings are about to happen. Some of you all know something needs to end. Something got to give. You're either going to walk away from a job you're not happy yet. You're going to leave a friendship. You're going to do something. But there's something that's going to come to an end whether you want it to or not because you're, you have to be strong enough for that tower moment is going to come in. And I do feel there, there is going to be a tower moment. This is nothing to be afraid of. Spirit is telling you to have confidence. You can't make this up. Strength card and a dragonfly. Have confidence. During this time, a great joy, renewal, and connection to spirit. Getting a stronger connection to spirit will help you during this time. Don't be afraid of what you lost because what's coming into place of that is going to be a hell of a lot better than what you had. I'm telling you, some of you all are in a relationship where you are putting in all the work, but guess what? That's about to come to an end because you're going to meet somebody that's going to match your energy, Virgo. Love card. Love surrounds you in all your connections. Move forward positively in all areas of your life. Some of you all, there's a culmination, okay? Ten of Pentacles. That's a culmination of things, you know, good or well, you need to let go of that you should have dropped a long time ago. But they're coming to an end, and something good is going to come in their place. Let's get your final messages. Final messages for the sign of Virgo. Final messages for the sign of Virgo. Oh, yeah. Reflection. Friendships in your life may come to an end. Man, I'm about to get up from this table and <laughs> I'm about to get from up, up from this freaking table and walk away. You can't make this up. Friendships in your life may come to an end. Others could blossom and become stronger. Didn't I tell you what's being left behind is getting replaced? Period. Point blank. Okay? Society. Stop worrying about what other people think. Don't worry about what everybody else doing. Focus on you, society, okay? It says, say yes to all the wonderful invitations coming your way. I'm telling you, y'all gonna find out just how much love y'all have around y'all when you start truly loving and cherishing yourself and your peace, okay? Protect your peace. Don't let nobody stress you out. And it says, with excellent networking opportunities and new love interests for singles will be the result. Your final message, you can't make this up. If you've been in a period of depression, you haven't been happy about certain areas of your life, the sun is shining on you, your career, business, there's going to be growth, there's going to be fabulous communication in relationships once you speak up for yourself. So I hope you guys enjoyed your messages. Now, let's get into Libras. Hi, Libras. Thank you all for being patient. I am here. I am here. All right, let's see. What are the messages, okay? Future messages for the sign of Libra and what they need to know. Messages for the sign of Libra. What do they need to know at this time, please? Bottom of the deck, you have the high priestess, all right? This is all about trusting your intuition, using your inner voice, divine truth, wisdom, and connection to spirit. All right, you also have here the hangman, and then you have the page of pentacles. Hang in there is what I'm getting. Hang in there. Trust that where you're being led, trust that what God has for you is for you. It's going to take a little bit of groundwork, but you're going to get through whatever it is you're going through. Some of you all, you're starting from the ground up when it comes to a business venture. There's some opportunity. Maybe some of you all are into social media. Um, you want to do something as far as like YouTube. Right now, you're not getting the views you want. You're not getting the subscribers that you want. But the thing is, is to start looking at the 
things that you've already achieved so far, okay? Take these little things that you have and multiply those, okay? If you're starting out right now, you may only have 100 subscribers. Right now, you may only have one or two customers at your job or whatever the case may be. You may have only maybe one person called you back when you apply for a job or you have one person um, interested in a home you're trying to sell. What you're being told is that this is going to take some time to be patient with yourself, remain diligent, you're very ambitious, eventually it's going to turn around for you, okay? Be very patient. Things are going to be turning around for you. Trust your intuition. You're going to know. Oh, shut the freaking door. <laughs> for some of you all, <laughs> this blessing is going to come in the form of a king of pentacles, okay? All right. <laughs> I feel like some of you all, you've, you're focused on something else and y'all don't even know what's behind. Look what's behind the high priestess. Look at that man back there. For some of you all, this is going to be a woman, okay? King or queen of pentacles. But the thing is, is that look at what is here while you were busy. Look at this. Look at this guy right here, busy with his head in the books. Don't even see what's coming back there. Now, this is, doesn't mean necessarily for everybody that you're going to have somebody come into your life. What this means is that you're going to come into something, okay? Because of you being very generous, because of you being very hardworking, because of you um, relying on your faith, your blessings are going to come, okay? You'll be in this King of Pentacles energy here. And you also have here the Eight, the eight of Swords. Yep, you cannot make this up. Libras. Libras, Aquarius, you know, all the air signs basically um, tend to spend a lot of time in your head to the point that you become critical, okay? And always feeling like you're trapped or you're in prison with your thoughts. This, this business is not going to turn out the way I want it to be. I'm not going to meet the person that I want to meet. I'm telling you, some of y'all going to have an option between two people. Look at that girl. She's stressed. <laughs> Look at that girl. She's stressed out. She's like, damn, I don't know who to choose. You won't have a king of pentacles, a, a Sagittarius, a Leo, or Aries for some of you all. Or you're going to have a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and you ain't going to know which one to choose because you gonna both of them going to be good. Look at that. You got two kings. Look at that. All this time, you were dealing with these damn pages, okay? They always playing around, slow, slowing around. What's that saying? Pussyfooting, taking their time. Playing games, taking their time. You're always sitting there waiting for a connection, waiting for a commitment, waiting for somebody to acknowledge you in a relationship. And like I said, I feel like there has been like a lot of disappointment when, for some of you all when it comes to relationships. You may have dealt with people where there was a lack of support. There was always some type of conflict, never really knowing where you stood with somebody. And now you got two, Libra. How you going to have two to choose from? Oh, baby. And good looking. Look at that. They're going to be good looking, successful in their own right. They come into the table with their own bread and they're going to feed you that bread. OK. <laughs> Ooh, so be patient. You got it. You got it. Look at the bigger picture is what you're being told. While you're busy focusing on what it is that you don't have and how long it took, while somebody's taking their time and don't know what it is they want, you're going to end up finding somebody that's going to give you everything you need, and they'll be an afterthought. I'm just saying. Let's see what we have here. Give me some more messages, please. Give me some more messages. Now, for those of you all that are not looking for love, you don't even care. It's not even on your radar. All right. This just basically means that you're going to be overcoming challenges, especially when it comes to your finances, when it comes to your stability. And then you're going to end up being the one that's the provider. All right. Never having to worry, having that money in your account when you need it for an emergency. You may have been at a point every time you, you pull your money out your bank, you're like, damn. If I get one more negative, I'm going to scream. But you're about to come out that energy. 
Look at this. Keep moving. Keep charging ahead. Keep being confident. Okay. Stay strong. Stay focused. You cannot make this up. Spirit is saying, stay focused. You don't see it yet, but you got something coming and it's rushing in. Could be a cancer for some of you all because we do have a chariot, but spirit is saying, maintain your self control and that success is going to come. Look at that. Success is going to come and you're going to have something to celebrate. Some of you all, this success is going to come by the beginning of the year because I do see the cracker card here. And if you see these lights, it sort of looks like Christmas, but it also looks like New Year's Eve. So I feel like, oh, I feel like you all are going to have something to celebrate for 2023. Good fortune awaits. It's going to be a good time for you. Oh, somebody going to be celebrating. I told y'all there's a fire sign coming. Look at him with his mouth open. <laughs> Woo, look at him with his mouth open. Y'all going to end up with somebody very fiery. This is somebody that is in control. They are confident. They know who they are. And this is going to be somebody loyal, very protective. They're not going to play when it comes to you. And spirit is telling you to charge ahead. Okay. Keep charging ahead. But I do feel like this person is going to also help to bring you even more good karma. So let's get the final messages for the sign of Libra. I was about to say Leo. So for some of you all, you're definitely either dealing with one or one is coming. All right. Give me some more messages, please, to close off this reading for the sign of Libra, please. Uh, man, come on now. Didn't I tell you some of you all were going through a difficult time? Be on your guard against chaos or unforeseen perils or emotional upheaval or foretold. They're just telling you, be patient. Difficult times ahead. Every day is not going to be perfect, but eventually you are going to receive achievements. Things are going to look up for you. Enjoy the limelight. You've earned it, okay? You've been through hell. You've earned it, all right? On the family front, someone's health could cause some secret worries and sleepless nights, okay? So they're just telling you, for those of y'all, not all, uh, when it comes to the health thing, they're telling you not to over, you know, not to worry too much. This could just be something simple. But when it comes to signs, you've been seeing it. You've been getting signs, synchronicities, letting you know that there's something right around the corner and it's coming. Your future positive direction will reveal itself, okay? This is all going to be in divine timing. So Spirit is saying any doubts and confusions, they will soon disappear. All right, Leos. Dang, I'm telling you. Somebody going to end up with, or they dealing with a Leo. <laughs> All right, Libras. Now it's time to get into Scorpios. All right. Give me the most important messages, please, for the sign of Scorpio. All right. Let's see, Scorpios. What we got going on? Give me the most important messages for the sign of Scorpio and what they need to know, please. What does the sign of Scorpio need to know? Bottom of the deck, you have the Queen of Swords. Somebody didn't cut somebody off. Okay, you got that Queen of Swords. Uh, you could have cut somebody off or you could have had some type of dealing with an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. May have been somebody that backstabbed you in the past, but I'm telling you, something good is going to come after this loss. I feel like some of y'all could be dealing with the Aries or there could be an Aries coming into your life because you do have the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. And I do remember this card coming out for the sign of Aries. So this could have been somebody you may have fallen out with or it could have been somebody with the uh, traits of an Aries. But... Whatever this is, something ended here. It turned into a missed opportunity. Or you may have thought that this was a missed opportunity, but it was actually a blessing in disguise, okay? Because, oh, I'm about to drop this card. But Ten of Swords in a reverse. Yeah, let me tell you something. Don't cry over this spilled milk. This needed to end. Spiritually, this person needed to go. I feel like whoever this is that you all may have been, been holding on to, I feel like spirit had a hand in finally ending this because of your loyalty and stuff. Um, Scorpio, you didn't want to leave this situation. You wouldn't want to leave this friendship, but it needed to go. Okay. The Ten of Swords in reverse means that it had no choice but the end. It had to end because whoever this is, they've disrespected you one too many times. 
Okay. And you may have found yourself wondering, why do I give this person chance after chance? Or why did I let this person hurt me? And it's all about you being strong and letting go. Okay. So if you were the one to cut this person off or they cut you off, trust me, you ain't missing nothing. This needed to happen. It's, it needed to happen so that you can know to never allow somebody to, to break your boundaries again. Okay. Cause I feel like this is somebody they've tried it. Okay. It could be an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but I feel like this person here took your kindness for weakness. And now you're finally showing this person the door. You're finally showing this person the middle finger and good for you, Scorpio, because because of this decision that was made, there are good times that are coming your way. Now, this could be in business. You may have decided to leave a job behind and go towards one that you feel um, will work better for you. Whatever the case may be, you have a lot of people. You have a lot of support around you. This could be in the spiritual world. Or this could just be like people here, family, friends, and lovers, whatever the case may be. But you have a lot of support on your journey and you're a good person. I feel like somebody needs to hear you're a good person. You did everything you could, but don't make that mistake again. Give me the most important messages. Somebody could have been backstabbed in business, found out somebody had took the money. You're like, where's the money? It's time for tax season. They didn't took the taxes or you went to them to file your taxes. And now you wonder why the IRS knocking at your door. And I feel like for some of you all, this was somebody you trusted. I trusted you to do my taxes or I trusted you in my house and you sleeping with my man, you know, that type of thing. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? I said, if this ain't people around you, in this world, there is somebody in the afterlife that's protecting you. Your angels have been guiding you. They guided you to straight the hell away from this relationship because everybody that smiles in your face ain't your friend and everybody that's blood ain't family. I'm just saying, okay? Um, your angels are guiding you and protecting you on your spiritual journey. You may have been getting signs and synchronicities. I'm telling you, you have been told time and time again, you got a snake in your camp. And spirit showed you who this person is, or they're soon to show you who this person is. They are no good, Scorpio. You did the right thing. I'm telling you, when you start elevating, when you start elevating on your spiritual journey, you start seeing MS for who they are. I'm telling you, you have people, they're smiling your face. Oh, wow. I'm so proud of you. Look at you doing your thing. You just started your own business. Are you doing this? You doing that? And them same people, they won't support you. Them same people going to talk shit about you behind your back. Them same people going to be plotting on your downfall. Them same people wishing they had what you had, but they don't have the ability, the strength, and the know-how to get to where you've gotten. And because of that, that makes them feel insignificant. But you are not this person's problem. That's their issue, okay? This snake here, your intuition, I'm telling you, your intuition told you time and time again, something ain't right about this person. And eventually spirit had to show you through this person's being backstabbing you, okay? And it says that their healing powers will guide you to a better path. Be careful. You can't take everybody to the top with you, Scorpio. Some people, they gotta stay right where the hell they at. Mountain. Know that you're protected as you face challenges. You... What did I say? Baby, your spirit guys ain't playing about you. I don't know who this is, who this resonating with, but your people ain't playing about you. They'll go to war for you. Make sure you go to war for yourself too. Knowing your worth. You sure as hell know your worth if you're the queen of swords. Queen of swords is like, no, nah, I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that. Bye. Nice knowing you. <laughs> Be like Incubus. Goodbye. Nice to know you. To know you. <laughs> All right, Scorpios. Let's get into Sagittarius now. Because y'all going to have me on y'all forever. Goodbye. Nice to know you. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> All right. Hi, Sagittarius. Let's get into your portion of the reading. Let's take a look here and see what you need to know. 
All right, what are the messages the sign of the Sagittarius need to know at this time? What does the sign of Sagittarius need to know at this time, please? <laughs> Even the most important messages for the sign of Sagittarius. Bottom of the deck, you have the Eight of Swords in the reverse. You ain't had the easiest time, have you? I feel like somebody said, dang it, man, every time I take one step forward, I have to take like 50 steps back. How come it seems like things in my life ain't moving? Starting to realize that the people that you thought were friends are not really your friends. No matter how much you give to people or you give to a situation, you didn't get anything back. And it's important for you to remember, just like I told the sign of Scorpio, some of you all could be Scorpio dominant. Everybody that smiles in your face ain't your friend. And some people are plotting on your downfall. Some people do want to see you when, you know, see you down. I feel like at one point you were saying like, man, I had everything. I was on top of the world. Um, everybody was smiling in my face. And as soon as I had my hand out asking for help, them same people didn't help me. Eight of swords in the reverse. All right. It's time for you to accept. Just like I mentioned, looking at situations from a new perspective, be happy that those people showed you their true colors. Be happy that now you see that the only people around you that really support you are the ones that are meant to be there. Okay, yeah, you got maybe going through a period now when you're not feeling your best. But some of you all, you could have lost in a situation. Um, the first thing that's coming through is some of you all may have experienced um, a loss of a child. And if this is you, I am sorry for your loss. Ooh. Oh, man, I felt that hard. Um, some of you all, if it's not a loss of a child, it's the loss of a mother. I feel like sometimes what happens with the person that I feel like is coming through is that you, those of you all that lost a parent, that was the one that you could call when you were going through everything. And it's like, man, I wish I can just pick up the phone and call him or her, but they're not going to be able to answer the phone. This period that you're going through right now where you're feeling like some type of lack or some type of loss or feeling incomplete is soon going to subside. If this is not your story, I feel like for some of you all, there's a lack of closure in a relationship. It could be with a Libra. Things may have ended, but you may want to give to this relationship now or this person wants to give to you. And I feel like you're starting to look at a relationship a lot differently. OK, and again, if this is not you, this person is looking at you a lot differently. Somebody may have perceived you. They may have had the wrong impression of you. This person may couldn't, wasn't able to give you what you may have wanted or what, you, or what they feel like you deserved at that time. But that was a blessing in disguise. I feel like for you. You needed to heal from this situation, but I also feel like this person needed to pull back so they can see you and they can gain they can gain a new perspective on who you were and what you meant to them in life. I feel like of everybody that this person dealt with, you were the one that was always there, consistent, supportive. You was a good friend. They could call on you through anything. And now this person realizes, damn, I can't pick the phone up and call the Sagittarius like I used to. That's why you have to be mindful of how you treat people. I feel like some of y'all are dealing with a Libra. Could be an Aries. Some of you all could be dealing with maybe possibly a Virgo. Could be any side. But there's somebody out there that's saying to themselves, damn, you don't know what you got till it's gone. They miss you, Sagittarius. Look at that. They miss you. Oh, what did I tell you? They miss you. I had three of Pentacles. Look at that king of wands in a the reverse. They were reckless with you. They were reckless with your heart. And once you start, you close yourself off from them and you start healing yourself. Look at that hermit card. I feel like a lot of you don't go outside anymore or you just don't hang with a lot of people like you used to. You don't trust a lot of people like you used to. Yeah, it's been hard to really trust people. You don't like putting yourself out there like that because you feel like every time I do, they always take him from me. But there's somebody that's what, you know, excuse me, I can't even get it out. I'm speaking so fast. But there's somebody that's ready to give to you. They are ready. They see your worth. 
They may have not seen it before, but they see it now. Give me the messages for the sign of Sagittarius. They feel like a fool, because guess what? Whoever this person is, they went to somebody else thinking they could replace you. <laughs> Look at that Empress in the reverse. That ain't you. That is not you. That's an imposter. <laughs> imposter. They went to somebody they thought was you, and guess what they found out? That person was clingy as hell. They was a gold digger. They was, oh, I'm telling you, they dealt, they dealt with somebody that was selfish as hell. <laughs> Baby, they got all that karma playing around with you. What did I tell What did I tell you? Told you that person want to come back. They chose somebody else over you. Look at that lover's card. Lover's card, that's Gemini energy. Some of you could have been dealing with a Gemini. Could have been dealing with an Aquarius because we do have the star card, but they want to heal this with you. They want to come into a commitment with you. Partnership. They want to be with you. Went out there trying to find you. Did you miss me while you were looking for yourself out there? They may have thought they wanted to be single, live it, live a single life, and didn't want to commit. And they got out there and realized, baby, there are two paths in this life. Which direction are you going to take? It's time for somebody to be true to themselves. Spirit is telling you also that the hard times are over. Okay, you may have been having a hard time healing from this or just healing from other people that you've dealt with that's hurt you. But abundance of happiness is coming. All right. So spirit is telling you to stay positive. Stay positive, Sagittarius. I'm telling you, I, I mentioned this. Oh, I feel like I mentioned this with another sign. This was with another sign. It may have been Taurus. Oh, some of you all may be linking with your twin flame who was reckless in the past who had to go through a period of introspection and now they rushing in towards you, Saggy. <laughs> oh, some of y'all may cuss this person out when they come, though. What you doing at my door? <laughs> I just saw 111 on the clock. Some of you all have been seeing angel number 111 like crazy. I told y'all, some of y'all finna come into, um, y'all finna come into connection with your, um, your twin flame. I feel like you always known that this was your twin flame, but because of the way they treated you or left the situation, you were like, damn, was it my twin flame or is this, is this Negro my, my karmic? Lord, give me a sign. <laughs> I'm telling you, that's somebody. Baby, they're going to rush in. I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry I left you. You all again, a lot of, um, Intuitive songs. I left you crying. Since you've been gone, I've been all alone. So they've been alone. All them tears. You know, you left me drowning. Please, baby, I'm begging for you to stay at home. This person wants you back, Sagittarius. Whew. Final messages to close off this reading for Sagittarius. Final messages to close off this reading, please, for Sagittarius. Mm, they wear the baby. All right. <laughs> you done been through hell with this person. This is a twin flame for some of y'all. All right. For those of you all that believe, if you don't, that's on you. Okay. I believe in it. I know it's true. All right. Twists and turns. Carefully made plans could be thrown out the window and a major changes and interruptions surround you. I'm telling you, you've been through some hard times, some ups and downs, but God about to spend the block for you. It says, make sure that you get lots of rest to cope with all the upheaval because baby, this going to shock you when they come back and keep <laughs> begging. It's going to, oh, you can't make this up. It's going to be a surprise. The hell are you doing at my door? <laughs> You have a disappointment will be followed by a pleasant surprise. An invitation could bring love to those searching. You can't make that up. My guy's going to be playing. It says, enjoy the limelight. You've earned it. Although on the family front, someone's health could cause some secret worries or sleepless nights. Okay. I feel like this is temporary. It'll soon subside. I think I got that in another reading. Could be for um, Leo, I believe, or Scorpio. But that could be an indication of who your uh, person is. But that's all I got, baby. Wish you all the best. Let's get into the sign of Capricorn. 
Hi, Cappies, my little devils. Little devils. <laughs> All right, let's see. I got uh, three more to go. All right, Capricorn. What messages do you all need to know at this time? <laughs> what was that? What messages do you all... Somebody don't want y'all to get these messages. All right. What messages for the sign of Capricorn? What messages need to come through at this time, please, for the sign of Capricorn? Uh-oh. Oh, y'all be careful. Damn. Damn. Maybe a fellow Capricorn. Y'all need to watch. Y'all need to be careful. Somebody may end up stabbing y'all in the back. 4-4. Four, four. Y'all been getting some angel numbers, haven't you? Look at that Capricorn energy. That's that devil card at the bottom of the deck. Y'all need to be careful. That may be somebody trying to backstab you. You got the four of swords in the reverse. You got the four. Somebody in stress the hell out. Oh, y'all, y'all didn't stress somebody out. Got the four of wands in a reverse, and you got the four of swords in a reverse. Y'all, uh-uh, uh-uh. Stop holding on to this situation or this person, Capricorn, because eventually this may come back and bite your ass. Okay? Somebody is addicted. Could be addicted to a person. Could be some codependency that's going on here. Addicted to sex. Addicted to something. This has got to stop with this person because eventually this is going to come back and bite you in the butt. Okay? Ten of swords. If this is not you... This is going to be this person. I feel like there could be somebody playing games with y'all. Yeah, this a child. Meaning, immature person. Look at that page of wands. This is somebody that pretend like they want a relationship, but they want to have sex with you and then come in, but they also want their freedom. This person playing with you. They plan in your face, Capricorn. Cut them off and don't let them come back. For those of you all, you know who I'm talking to. I feel like some of you all know good and well who this person is. This could be an immature Sagittarius Leo Aries, or this could be somebody that is Capricorn and fire dominant, okay? Whoever this person is, I feel like y'all know this. Look at that. Look, shut the freaking door. Hey, listen. I'm sorry. I feel like I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry, y'all. I got a little too passionate. The reason why I'm so passionate about this because I see it all right here. This person is playing games with you. They are manipulative. They are a narcissist. They are a master manipulator. This person wants sex and they're going to disguise it as one in a relationship. They don't want commitment. This is somebody that still wants to play the field. This is somebody that likes to have sex and more than likely they're having sex without protection. This is the first time I pulled these cards out while I'm doing the reading and I need to see why. Why are these messages coming through for the sign of Capricorn and what they need to be warned about? What does the sign of Capricorn need to be warned about? Yeah, this person sitting on their ass. This is somebody I feel that loves you or has some type of feelings for you, but they feel like, ain't no rush. I'm going to be out here and I'm going to play the field. I'm going to enjoy myself. I'm going to overindulge because whoever this is, they may drink a lot. They don't want to stop drinking or they don't want to stop doing drugs or whatever it is to try to make this connection work. And they're going to try their damnedest, okay, to keep you stuck, okay? It's it's that energy of what are they, what's that I'm trying to think of? This is somebody, you know how like if somebody has a habit, then they want the other person um, to be in that habit with them. Please be careful with the people that you hang with. These are bad influences. Whoever this person is, they know good and well they're not ready or they don't have their life together. Or look at this, cooking in the kitchen, cooking up in the kitchen. Somebody be making their homegrown. Y'all, listen, get away from this person and don't trust how they say they make their money. They may have them a day job, but at night they may be cooking it up in the kitchen. I'm just saying, y'all know what that is cooking it up in the kitchen. Somebody's selling something. Don't let that person stay with you. If they stay with you, you need to get them out your house because they end up cooking that stuff up and selling it on the streets. Wow. Okay. A lot of messages. For some of you all, this could be a Virgo, could be a Capricorn. We, we got everything here. Don't trust this person. They're lying about what they do. They are chained to their addictions and they get other people addicted. Okay, be careful with them. Also, it may not be safe to sleep with this person. They may have, because they're in this nine of ones and a reverse energy, they could sleep around with a lot of people and have unsafe, unprotected sex with them. It's not a good thing. Six of ones, when you get away. Wait a second, I'm having an issue with my camera. 
Okay, I think we're good. When you get away from this person here, I'm telling you, luck is going to be on your side. This person here is no good, Capricorn. And you know this person is no good. You know this person holds on to you because you're their blessing. You're nothing like them. When they're gone, I'm telling you, when they're gone and you're gone, they are buying their time. They lying about where they are. They know they sex is off the chain. That's why they keep you addicted off the chain. Look at the chains around this woman tied to this devil energy. Don't be tied to this devil energy anymore. Some of you all, you may not even realize this, not for everybody, but some of you all, this person likes to have sex with both male and female. And this is the reason why they haven't, they've been slow to commit to you. They've been slow to commit because they know the lifestyle that they live. You probably wouldn't condone it. And they don't want to be honest about it because think about it. If a person can't be honest about their sexuality, you think they're going to be honest about anything else in life? It's 2022. Why you can't be honest and tell people you're bisexual? You know how many people out here is bisexual? Capricorn, if this person is gone from your life, please don't allow this person back in. You have, do you ever think of me? This person wanted you to think about the past, but this is not, this person is not who you think they are. Okay. And spirit is warning you against, um, staying tied to this individual. Whew. Man, I feel like somebody really needs that message. So let me go ahead and get you your fortune message. All right, give me the fortune messages. Sorry. Oh, I had to switch cameras. So hopefully all of this gets recorded. Give me the most important messages, please, for the sign of Capricorn. Most important messages, please, for the sign of Capricorn. I'm telling you what you desire the most is is going to come true, okay? You've been desiring a commitment. That commitment is coming. Whatever it is you're wanting, you've been wishing for. Spirit sees this. There's your angels, but they're telling you that first you need to heal from this situation here, okay? And when you heal from this situation, they're saying when you look forward to abundance and enthusiasm, then that positivity and everything that you want in your life is going to come into fruition. The thing is, is that you're being guided and you're being protected. You're being guided and you're being protected from this person. Okay. So I'm telling you to whoever got these messages, please stay away from this, this individual. Their energy is not good whatsoever. Okay. Let me get some final messages, please, for the sign of Capricorn. Final messages, please, for the sign of Capricorn. You have here love, oh, love life. Yep, affairs of the heart could cause future problems. But take heart as difficult situations will be resolved by a, by a good decision this week. Make the right decision. Intuition. Trust your intuition, okay? Trust your intuition. It is a great time to learn new skills, change careers, or invest money. Your final message, positive work outcomes, all right? Consistent efforts will bring rewards and a major purchase is worth making, okay? Don't allow this person. Uh, I feel like somebody wants to try to return because they see you moving up, okay? You may got a YouTube channel that's taken off. You may have your business ventures or whatever it is you're doing to work will be taken off. And this person want to ride your gravy train. The spirit said, uh-uh, get that parasite away from here, okay? <laughs> All right, so we're going to move on to the sign of Aquarius. Hi, Aquarians. Let's see, what messages do you guys need to know at this time? What are the messages the sign of Aquarius need to know the most at this time, please? Oh. Aquarius, you're having a hard time walking away from somebody. Even after you experience, listen, if some of you all may have already experienced your tower with this person, could be an Aries because we do have the tower card, or you all could actually avoid, 
um, a situation here because I feel like whatever you walked away from, it was meant for this to happen. All right, because you do have the ten of wands. You may have walked away from somebody because you bear all the responsibility in the relationship. Some of y'all could have been dealing with the Leo because if I'm not mistaken, this came up in a Leo reading and this came up in Virgo. So some of y'all could be dealing with a Virgo or a Leo, but you carried a lot of burden in this relationship. There was a lot of stuff that you had to deal with. It's, for some of you all, it was like taking care of a child. But the thing is, it's like a part of you wants to go back to this. It's like you want to go back to something even though you were the one that did all the work. Did this person change? Because if they hadn't changed, then what's the point of going back? I feel like the reason some of you all are having a hard time with letting go is because something feels unresolved here, okay? It feels like something didn't quite um, get said or, or you feel like you need some sense of closure when it comes to this person here because you're carrying some type of emotional baggage. And here's the thing about the tower card in the reverse. Sometimes it can point to spirit telling you, hey, you can avoid a disaster. You didn't walk away from this person, but I see you looking back. But I just want to let you know that don't come over here. Because if you come over here, you're going to get what it is you're looking for. But sometimes when it comes to the tower card, it is you're ignoring reality. Okay? And I do feel like some of you all could be ignoring reality. It's like Spirit said, I showed you who this person was the first time. You don't believe me. So it's like, do you want to walk into another tower that could be worse than the last one? For some of you all, you may have had a child with this person. Spirit is maybe saying, be careful because this person may trap you with another child is what I'm getting. Matter of fact, let me see why spirit, because I feel like somebody's ancestors is like, please y'all don't do this. Okay, let's see. Why are these messages coming through for the sign of Aquarius? Why are these messages coming through for the sign of Aquarius? Sometimes no closure is closure, okay? Sometimes you don't need a final thing. You don't need for somebody to tell you, hey, it just an old oh, shit. Bottom of the deck, look at that. This person was a player. Bad at love, good at screwing. If they want a player, they just want a good boyfriend or a girlfriend. They didn't invest in this relationship. Again, I keep feeling like it was like taking care of a child. Some of you all were dealing with somebody that just wasn't on your level. But I feel like you've been wishing and wanting this person back. And sometimes you have to be careful what you wish for because you're going to get exactly what it is that you want. And I feel like for some of you all, you're secretly still in love with this person. Your family may think that you're over this person. And you may have tried to force yourself into believing that you're over this person, but I feel like there's somebody that hasn't had enough. Like they always say, you'll know when you have enough of somebody. And I just don't want for somebody to end up having a tower that is so ugly that finally you're forced to truly let this person go. Like you don't need this lesson again, Aquarius. And I feel like somebody that's watching this knows exactly what I'm saying. You don't need to learn this lesson all over again. Physically choosing them, emotionally choosing you. This is somebody you may have already known had somebody else, or what you may not realize is that when you left, when this relationship ended, this person moved on and started dating somebody else, or they started um, hooking up with somebody they were already hooking up with before. Okay? And you had, I made you feel worthless, but the truth is you were too good for me. Don't think they don't know your worth. They know you were a good man or a good woman. This is just somebody who doesn't give a shit. This is somebody that literally is like, I want my cake and eat it too. I'm self-serving. This is a very selfish individual, the energy that I'm getting. And here it is. For those of you all that are still in the baby making stage, I feel like some of you all even wonder if the first child may have been trapped. But this person, if you let them back in, spirit is telling you, you can avoid a tower. You let them back in if you want to. Is what spirit is saying. Somebody's guides are trying to warn them, don't go back to this person from your past. They have not changed. I'm going to say exactly what just came through. If you see the way I'm holding these cards, what is this, this, this symbol on my hand? What does this look like? It looks like devil horns. Some of y'all could be dealing with a Capricorn or somebody, y'all can be dealing with somebody that's very toxic, very draining. This is somebody that is deep off in their addictions, very toxic individual. Be, be really careful, um, Aquarius. 
I feel like somebody is 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 about to go into the lion's den. Okay. Give me some final messages, please, for the sign of Aquarius. Give me some more messages that need to come through at this time, please, for the sign of Aquarius. Wow. Ooh. Aquarius. For those of y'all this is resonating with, get the hell on. Devil card. Spirit is warning whoever this is. Take care immediately to avoid temptation and deceit. They waiting. Whoever this is, they're waiting for the right opportunity. Because they want you stuck with them. Stop watching these tarot videos where everybody's telling you everybody is a twin flame. Everybody is a soulmate. Uh-uh. Not this person. This is a goddamn karmic. They're meant to teach you a lesson, and please don't let them teach you this lesson again. Let go of emotional upheaval and embrace the renewal of the present. Have confidence during this time. Be strong, okay? Please be strong. Trust your intuition. Listen to spirit. They are trying to tell you something. You got to let this person go. You got to let this codependency go. You got to let this idea that you've created in your head that this is your soulmate. This person here is ready and willing to give you everything you don't want, including for some of you an unplanned pregnancy. Whew. Final messages for the sign of Aquarius. Final question. I'm sorry. Final messages for the sign of Aquarius. Whew. Jesus. You have assert yourself. Yes. Assert yourself. Set boundaries. Tell this person no. It says go for what you want. The time is right for soulmate connections. Yeah. Birth of a child is also likely. Birth of a child is also likely. Achievement. It says enjoy the limelight. You've earned it. Although, I'm sorry, you've earned it. Although on the family front, someone's health could cause some secret worries and sleepless nights. A lot of people have been getting this message here. You have planning. Now is the time to lay down the foundation for your future. This is what you're needing to be focused on your future, your financial gains, and leaving this person in the past. All right, Aquarius. I know that one was kind of deep, but... I feel like somebody really needs to hear that like now. That's like a 911 emergency. All right, we are on to the final sign, Pisces. Hi, Pisces. I know you're like, Jesus, about time. <laughs> All right, I'm here. So let's go ahead and get the final messages, please, for the sign of Pisces. final messages. What does the sign of Pisces need to know at this time, please? What does the sign of Pisces need to know at this time, please? Either you still holding on to somebody or somebody's still holding on to you. Bottom of the deck, you have the Ten of Swords in the reverse, okay? Whatever this is, it needed to end, okay? Somebody could have been breadcrumbing you. You got Page of Cups in the reverse, okay? Page of Cups could also indicate feeling disappointed, okay? This person may have caused you insecurities. Um, this person could have been emotionally immature. And it's something about this person. Like, you, you, you can't help but still kind of hold on. But I feel like this is more so a, a fantasy that you created about this person, Pisces, instead of who this person truly is. I feel like with this Four of Pentacles, it's like you're still holding on to what you thought this person was as opposed to what they were showing you. This is a very self-centered individual, okay? They are all about self. And this Queen of Pentacles in a reverse could indicate that some of you all could have been dealing with a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. Also here, with this Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, I feel that it's time for you all to start being grounded. All right, it's time for you to start calming yourselves. I feel like this situation may have kind of thrown you off your game, but I feel like with you, you're slowly going to like turn things around. And if this is not involving a person, this could be involving work. Maybe you have some bumps in the road, but you, but what you're being told at this time is that you're needing to learn something new. Maybe you need to learn a new, a new trade or a new skill, and this is going to help you to get back on top. But 
the biggest focus for you, the biggest thing for you to remember is that sometimes you have to let go of things even if you're not ready to. Okay, sometimes spirit is taking things away from you that are taking you away from your beating path and taking you away from your goals. Okay, so this is all about you basically not holding yourselves back anymore out of fear. You, maybe you have a fear of moving on from a past relationship or moving on from a job or a situation, but this had to end. Okay, this is literally like, don't hold yourself back anymore. And some of you all may end up realizing later on that, damn, this has ended up being a blessing in disguise. Now I really see why this had to come to an end. Okay, underneath here, you have the six of wands in a reverse because it wasn't going anywhere. Six of wands in a reverse. I, it's, it's like one of those things where it's like letting pride get in the way. Like your pride will make you say, I want to stay with this person. I need this job or I this and that. But that's pride talking. That's not, that's not spirit telling you this is the right decision because anything where you're still having doubts and you're having sleepless nights is not something that's meant for you. Um, some of you all may not have wanted to leave a job or something because you were still waiting to be recognized. Okay. It's sort of like, no, 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 but pe people need to know that I was the best worker at this job. All right. I was the best wife. I was the best husband. I was the best girlfriend, but being all of that to a page of cups, somebody that will only offer you very little. Look, they can't even offer a cup because the cup is upside down. They did not have the emotional capacity. They didn't even, for some of them, they didn't even have the money. They didn't have enough means to take care of you or to even barely take care of themselves. This person was a hanger on in your life. They were causing you to have slowdowns in your financial in your financial life, in your security. This person was holding you back more than you think. You may have at one point felt like this person was a blessing, but this person was not a blessing. This was a this was stressful. And I feel like a lot of you may have gotten into the energy where you kind of blamed yourself, beating yourself up, but this is just a lesson. It's just a lesson. To make sure that you don't repeat this again, to know what it is to accept and what you what you will and what you won't accept moving forward when it comes to a relationship or a situation. All right. So let's go ahead and get some fortune messages for you. What did I tell you? So you'll know what you will and won't accept when it comes to a relationship. Y'all about to move on. You're about to move on to a new relationship or a new situation. You have the eagle card. It says you will soar towards your destiny with greater clarity and strength. You don't feel it now. You may not feel like you have as much much courage or you don't really see a situation, but trust you, trust me, eventually you're going to see this situation and this person for who they truly are. Some of them, oh, excuse me, hiccups. Some of you may have been dealing with somebody. You may have found out you were being juggled or this person was juggling between whether or not they wanted to fully commit, which is why they were giving you this breadcrumby energy here. But with this lover's card, spirit is telling you that there are two paths ahead and you got to make sure you're being true to yourself. Not worrying about the outcome and if this is going to hurt somebody's feelings or whatever the case may be. At the end of the day, you are of most importance to yourself. This love card is letting you know that love surrounds you in all connections, okay? People are going to support you, and those that don't support you don't need to be there, okay? Move forward positively in all areas of your life. You got this. You got this. Somebody else had these cards. Some of you all are going to end up with a... Uh, somebody, some of you all are going to end up with a connection, long-term connection here. Oh, I wish I can think of which sign that was, but definitely positive positive energy moving forward for you. I love it. All right. Let me go ahead and get some final messages for the sign of Pisces. I'm about to lose my voice. All right. Final messages for Pisces. Final messages for Pisces. Look at that. Look at this. Walking straight into a commitment. A commitment is indicated around love or business. It will make you feel better. Some of you all, this is love. Some of you all, this is business. For some of you all, this will be both. The, I was just, I'm not going to sing that. That song just came through and I'm not singing the best of both worlds by Miley Cyrus. 
<laughs> but you guys get the point. All right. You also have challenges. It says take time out from problems or conflicts or approach softly to avoid matters, making matters worse. Yeah, it's not worth it. It's not worth it to argue with this person and talk about, you know, you didn't put me first. You didn't this, you didn't that. They already know that. They just chose not to do it. And it's like, don't even give this person, whoever this is, they don't even deserve it. You moving on is the best. That's the best revenge. And you have planning. It says, now it's the time to lay down the foundation for your future. Financial gains are more than likely. Move on. Success. The best revenge is success. And I truly hope you guys enjoyed your reading. I truly hope that every um, Zodiac sign enjoyed their readings as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you would like more readings like this, give me a huge thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Comment down below what you like, what you didn't like. And guys, um, if you're interested in a personal reading, because this is a general, all the information on how to book one with me is down below in the description box, as well as pinned in the comments. And I'll see you guys real soon. Bye.